Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today I have an excellent announcement, at least in my humble opinion, and that is that Game From Scratch 2.0 is here, although technically I guess it's Game From Scratch 3.0, but I digress. So what is this? Well, this is a complete redesign of GameFromScratch.com. Now, GameFromScratch.com is actually genesis for this station. Back in uh, 2011, I launched this website. You can see the original one from uh, the Wayback Machine here, and yeah, it's pretty straightforward. The entire premise behind this is it was going to be a blog about developing a game from scratch and then we're kind of going to have some tutorials how we did things the tools that were used and all that kind of stuff and yeah best laid plans and all of that stuff what it instead turned into was a site for at first tutorials and then we started getting into a little bit more news and then we get into some more reviews and now we have game from scratch that exists today and uh the world changed a little bit from back in these days this was a hundred percent uh the kind of website back in 2010 2011 this is the kind of website that you know people use because they're there were such things as uh, smartphones or uh, tablets or well there were but they they were really really rare basically if I went to my analytics of the day I would have 99% desktop usage and then inevitably I had to do something about that and so I did the, this redesign this was around 2016 I think and this is kind of what we've got to this day and a lot of people would nicely call this hideous uh, <laughs> I appreciate all of the feedback and I agree game from scratch was not the nicest looking site one of the problems I always had was I was tied into a CMS solution or a content management solution called Blog Engine. I picked it early on and I could probably made a bit of a mistake. Basically, I liked .NET better than I liked PHP and I let that decide it. And the truth of the matter is, over the history of Game From Scratch, I have changed the source code a total of three times. So that was a bad decision. Uh, so I was kind of stuck with this thing and Blog Engine itself was no longer being updated. So in some ways, Game From Scratch was no longer being updated. You would see a lot of times I would have it linked down below and I just continue to do that. That is where you can go and get any supplemental links or whatever. Or if you're not a YouTube person first, a lot of what I cover here on YouTube is mirrored on Game From Scratch, just in text form. So if you just want to stay up to date on news and so on, well, that's what Game From Scratch is all about. But I will acknowledge... Yeah, yeah, it was a little ugly. So that's what we have done. The last couple of weeks to maybe months, we've been inventing or reinventing Game From Scratch. So here is the new Game From Scratch. And now it is on a, um, well, it's on WordPress. So now I can actually go ahead and quickly make changes. What you're seeing here isn't the final UI. I still need to come in here and organize it so that uh, like the sidebar is going to completely change because I'm going to have to organize some of the content that's here. Some of the tutorial system or tutorial uh, series, I got to tie them together. Um, give you easier access to them but as you will see from a if you want to keep up to date on the world of game development perspective hopefully the site is a much better choice on top of that if you are on mobile you should find it is a much better experience so here is your mobile layout it, it should just uh, collapse down in a nicer way. You got a drop down menu here at the top for navigating through. It's a pretty simple, straightforward site, but it shouldn't cause your eyes to bleed, which I think most people prefer when their eyes don't bleed. And I, I can kind of understand that point of view. So we now have a new game from scratch. So this is it. It's going to change up quite a bit. As you see here, we've got links to everything like the YouTube channel, the Twitter channel, the Discord. If you haven't checked it out, do check out the Discord. By the way, if you want to leave some feedback about the new site or whatever, there is a uh, channel within the Discord for uh, GFS Web Redesign, I think it was called, if you want to leave some feedback there, or drop it down below. Again, this is early days. I'm still going to have to fix quite a few things, no doubt. You can see here, we got it broken down into the category of news. The majority of things are news, to be honest, so you're going to get up to date on what is happening in just the news. You can filter down to that, so if you want to just see, you know, about game engine releases, etc., it is there. I'm also going to bring in, I'm probably bringing in a tag cloud, so you can get a little bit more details. You drop into a single post, uh, you're going to also find the tag clouds are available there. So if you're just interested in the Unigine news, you can drill down that way, etc. I still have to go through and tag a lot of things to get that working right. Uh, so I've only really, really, really cleanly focused on the last, say, five or 600 posts. And yeah, Game From Scratch has that much com content. It, it, took a, it took a while to get this all ported over. So you can see we've also got things into the reviews. Now reviews is a little bit broader than this is basically hands-on or getting started with an application type stuff, all kind of bundled together. I don't have 100% of them here, but as you can see, uh, we've got 
let's see, 60 of them at least to get started. And as I publish new things like such as uh, Game Creator, well, I just did a review of it. If you want to get in and learn more about an application or a game engine, you will find it ultimately in the reviews category. And again, more stuff will be showing up in here as I go back through the back catalog and start tagging it properly as well. But we've already sitting at, um, again, I went through the, the top 200 posts according to analytics and basically the last year of content and gave it all the, uh, the one over for, you know, make sure that the code form formats right and all that stuff but you're going to find some pages in here that unfortunately don't show up right if you do run into one of those please do let me know either discord a comment or uh, shoot me an email mike at game from scratch.com and i will fix that up asap because as i mentioned earlier on there is a ton of stuff that was ported over here and then we got uh, tutorials here this is uh, pretty straightforward. This is a collection of, of tutorial, single part tutorials over a number of things. Like I said, I got to organize somewhere over in the sidebar so you can get the, the grand, uh, like just uh, the table of contents for major series. So FSML, LibGDX, Godot, etc. They will all be showing up on the side. The thing is, we are not going to have any more tutorial series on this site. We're only going to have single tutorials. Stuff like exporting from Blender to Godot, one off. I will do a tutorials and I'll have them here on Game From Scratch. But for other stuff, it will actually be available. Oops, wrong tab here. Now this is dev game. I don't know if you guys, the majority of you guys seen this. I launched this guy a while back, basically because I knew I had the limitations of um, you know blog engine behind me. So I created this site and this one is just basically meant to be about game development resources, period. And the majority of it is about tutorials. So we got some resources here. We got a collection of free tools here. This is a work in progress here, but if you wanna get, say, 2D graphics apps that are free, I got a collection of them all available right here. You can go in there, start that out. I've also got a getting started guide. I'm gonna come back and do an update on it, but it has a bit of an overview, kind of a crash course on getting you into the world of game development. But the bulk of dev game is actually going to be these guys. And these are game development tutorial series. Previously, I did this kind of stuff on game from scratch things like the libgdx series the uh, godot 2 and 3 series and so on now all of those are going to be hosted over on dev game i will make you aware of them on gamefromscratch.com and game from scratch the youtube channel uh, but dev game is where multi-part courses are going to be for example here is the fold tutorial and it walks you through all the various different pieces of creating a game in default i've done uh, a couple of different i got six or seven long form tutorial series on here and i got plenty more coming i want to do one about unigine i'm going to do one about Godot 4 when it comes out and all that stuff so if you're looking for a multi-part tutorial it's going to be on dev game if you are looking for one-off reviews daily news and that kind of stuff it is over on game from scratch so that is kind of the difference between them now the interesting thing with game from scratch is i did manage to get all of the content going back to the very 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 beginning and apparently i set the date wrong on this single post because if you're a c programmer you recognize the date of january 1st 1970 basically that's the default error date if you you're not aware in the c library uh, so that one i guess i need to update that but here you can see going back to the very very beginning if you want you can do it in reverse chronological order of the site I'm not sure that uh, I would I would recommend that, but you can go down a rabbit hole. And the cool thing is you can actually see a really cool snapshot of the history of game development by doing things. I went back as I was porting the site. I'm seeing news stories about Unity uh, first launching on Windows and the changes in price structure and stuff that's going on. It's been a really interesting trip down memory lane. Also, sadly, I saw a lot of game engines that are no longer with us, uh, tools that are no longer with us, but it, it's all captured here. So in some ways... You can look at the early part of Game From Scratch as like a history or a time capsule of the world of game development, and it will be your one-stop, non-stop resource for game development news. And uh, again, I will also be getting all the reviews, all the hands-on stuff will be here, and we're going to have some tutorials. And to be honest, I 100% forget what Uncategorized was. Yeah, yeah, that's the one I was going to get rid of because there's literally uh, one item in it, and it was from 2012. So yeah, we'll get rid of that, but do expect to see some reorganization here. This is here. I was mostly focused on getting the layout working and the content in, and the vast majority of what was on GameFromScratch.com on blog engine is now here and now that it's here there is so much more i can do with it and so much i can do going forward so now that I, i'm not embarrassed by the website we're probably gonna see a little bit more focus on it, a little bit more text content than i've been doing and again you're also going to see more long form tutorials available over here on dev game additional game engines are going to be covered over time uh, and like you see we've got the fold app game kit godot coco's creator armory 3d and copper cube 6 game uh tutorials there all of those are 
five to 20 parts a piece. And I've got more coming. I'm going to do one on uh, C-sharp with Godot. Again, I'm going to probably do Unigine, Godot 4 when it comes out, and various other engines, probably Unreal Engine 1 as well. Um, so I do keep an eye on this space. I do have to admit, the long-form tutorial series, they are the victim of COVID. I just, I can't focus on that kind of content right now. So hopefully when school gets back in, I have more time available to me. We can start getting into more long-form tutorials and then they will be hosted up on Dev Game. So that is it. That is Game From Scratch. Uh, I guess 3.0 at this point in time. Uh, let me know what you think. Also, any suggestions, feedback. If it doesn't work on your mobile device, I kind of optimized it originally for my phone, which I thought was 1080p and ended up being bigger. So then I have I've switched it to more of a 1080p friendly layout. Um, if, if it doesn't work well on your phone, please do let me know. If you run into problems, please do let me know. And again, you're going to find some content, especially older content where the source code formatting, it needs to just be manually updated. I just need to be made aware of it. Uh, unfortunately, Game From Scratch consists of uh, 200, no, so 2,500. There's 2,500. Uh, articles on Game From Scratch. So I couldn't manually go through every single one of them. I did get all of the newest stuff, so hopefully the, the errors are at a minimum. But if you do run into older content with bad formatting or something like that, please do let me know and I will do my best to fix it. All right, so that's it. Game From Scratch uh, 3.0. Let me know what you think and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.